lifestyle vlogs um, well not really lifestyle vlogs just random things you know anything under the sun that I might find interesting that you might find interesting and one thing that I should actually tell you guys about first is that um, I would mostly speak in English okay um, Kasi hindi ako Tagalog. <laughs> anyway, so, kanang, I feel so, I sound so cringy when I speak in Tagalog. So I'd rather speak in Bisaya, Hiligay non, in English and combination. So, kanang, please understand. <laughs> Pasensya na, daan, if you feel that um, the video itself is just always English and Visaya you know, for all of those watching that might be in the Luzon area I will try as much as possible to speak in English all of the things that are important if there's any as if more of a news so um, I can actually speak three dialects just to introduce myself I can, I can, I can actually speak three dialects um, I used to be able to speak four Char. Yeah, I actually, I used to be able to speak four. So I speak. I used I, way back in college. I speak Karaya. Um, my native dialect is Ilongo, Hiligaynon, um, and my mother's native dialect is Bisaya. So I already know a little of Bisaya because I grew up in Davao, or I was born in Davao up until I was five years old, and then we moved to uh, Bacolod when I learned. Five, when I was five rather and uh, that's basically how I adapted that yeah, at a very young age I, I was able to adapt the uh, Hiligay Nun as my native language up until I grew up and then I went to college in uh, Iloilo that's when uh, that's where I adapted the uh, dialect Karaya and then I moved to Cebu for work that's where I regained my Bisaya and it's amazing you know how a memory from your childhood could actually be thick by introducing yourself in an environment that you in a language in a language that you've heard before like you have been using in your childhood you know when I went to Cebu I did not speak Bisaya from maybe six by the time I learned um, I transitioned to Ilonggo, uh, in Hiligaynon rather. I transitioned to Hiligaynon up until I went to Cebu for my job, which was six years ago. So when I went to Cebu, I didn't have a hard time adjusting, just like that. I was able to speak Bisaya with the Bisaya accent, which is amazing. And I just find it amazing, the fact that your childhood memories from when you were five can be recovered in just being introduced in an environment. You know? It's just amazing for me. Anyway, so that was just a brief introduction of who I am. Maybe I'll be making this brief introduction for the next 10 videos that I'll be making just so in, in the event that you know people uh, actually would know or would try to um, would not try to question me why I mostly speak in English and Visaya and Hiligaynon and Combo. Anyway, so today um, we will be talking about something that I have never 
really pay much attention to. And that's skincare. So forgive me for the face. I just did my first day of that routine. So if you can see, um, I'm really proud to go to bed. I haven't really slept, so dust the puffiness in the eye. And uh, we will be uh, we will be doing a 30-day trial on this products that I've um, purchased at Watson's um, earlier this afternoon. A reason being, as I may mention, I've been trying to look into a research of a skincare and stuff like that. And I realized I never really had one. You know, I have, I, I do moisturizers every now and then if there's a hype, I would try to buy it. But in a sense, I'm a very frugal person to engage in a religious skincare routine. I cannot see myself maintaining it because I'm frugal. Tehik as fuck, man. As in, very tehik, very bakopo in man. Very bakopo. So, um, I'm tehik in such a way that I don't. If I don't find something nece necessary, I don't buy it. If I don't find something important or needed, I don't buy it. And back then, or just a few days ago, I thought that you know everything that I do is just perfectly fine. Up until I've been research, up until I've been seeing a tremendous decline on my uh, facial uh, skin, you know, breakouts in large pores. I've always had large pores, but as I age, it's just larger and larger. Nagkadako siya, nagkadako yun, nagkadaghan dahil siya niyo, wala na yung ganahan. Pero ako guwapa, di na ako guwapa, so okay, nagdagho kayo kong pores. So it's just fine if you have big pores, if you already are pretty, but... Kita kay average or better yung mga... Average or better yung mga face. So, medyo madag prayers lang ang water, no? So anyway, most of the uh, skincare videos or skincare routine videos that I've watched, they have a step-by-step -step product that they use on their face. Um, it usually starts with a cleanser, and one of the uh, most common things that I have seen in these influencers and these um, blogs and these blogs that I've watched is find the most gentle cleanser or buy the most gentle cleanser that you can find. The gentler, the better, because you're actually starting to cleanse your face and you will be introducing a lot of products right after. So the most gentle it is, the better, that's what they said. And of course, it always depends on the, sky, on the kind of skin that you have. I don't really know what my skin type is. So I'm just predicting that maybe I'm oily to combination. I have oily combination skin. Reason is when I am in a dry environment or like in a cold environment, my skin tends to dry up really bad. And then when I am in a humid, hot environment, my T-zone just oils up like crazy. So I'm going to say that I'm going to add it long, sunny side up or scrumble, sunny side up from my lunch. Anyway, so um, as I've said, I'm very tihik or I'm very baku, I'm very frugal rather. Um, I tried to look for the most inexpensive alternative that I can find <laughs> in one sense. Because, you know, um, influencers are talking about clear stoner, they're talking about zero cleansing bombs, they're talking about, I, I don't know, things I've never heard of. <laughs> And when I looked up the prices, nothing is less than 500 And 200 for me is uh, it's really expensive already for a skincare. It's really expensive here. 200 for me is really expensive. Um, the only thing that I spend, or the, the most, the only thing that I actually buy is a Celetic moisturizer. That's what I have been using because I have mentioned my skin tends to oil up, so a water-based uh, hydrating moisturizer is what I believe to be best for my skin. But right now, I'm actually shifting to 
a different product. So we will be using these products that I have bought from Watson. I'll also be telling you the price because it still has a price tag so that you can have a reference. And we'll be using this for exactly 30 days and we will make another video and see the result whether or not these products are indeed effective. So anyway, so as I mentioned, um, the skincare routine usually starts with a cleanser. So it says that if you actually don't use sunscreen, which sunscreen is very important, by the way, um, most of the influencers say, most of my research says that um, if you don't use makeup or sunscreen, you don't need to double cleanse unless you actually work in a very, very polluted area. You know, yeah, that you go out on a daily basis, that you get endorsed to put uh, you know, organic pollutants and things like that. But um, for me, I really don't go out because I work from home currently. I rarely go out. I rarely have interaction with the sun, thus my very pale skin. And I don't wear makeup. The only product I have been wearing for the longest time in my skin is either my Young Living Serum, which, by the way, I make up talking about that in my next vlog. Sure, next vlog, Diane. <laughs> and um, the, uh, the uh, one that I may mention earlier, the Celadric Hydrating Facial Moisturizer. The one, in, the ones in uh, the blue tube, yeah, that one. So the, the most basic and expensive one. <laughs> That's the one I have been buying. So, um, of course, when they said the most gentle cleanser, the very first thing that popped in my head is, guess what? Yes! Sakto Jit Kabesh! Selah! No, Cetaphil, yeah. Sorry. Cetaphil. So, it's the very first thing that popped in my head. Because when they said gentle, I can never find anything, drugstore, retail, in, the, in Watson's, that is hype for it being gentle. So it's Cetaphil has been around for quite some time. It's a very trusted brand. I don't use Cetaphil, so you know, I do buy Cetaphil for my little boy, for him. I It's his baby wash, as suggested by my previous manager here, Matt. Hi, man. So, um, I bought this with second thoughts because the price is way above what I was expecting to purchase. So this is for $229. If, I'm not sure if you can see the price tag. So the Cetaphil um, Gentle Skin Cleanser. This gentle soap-free cleanser was originally formulated for dermatologists specifically for everyday cleansing of even the most sensitive skin. So Kanisha, this one, I bought it at Watson's in SM. Um, and it says here it's non comedogenic. It's fragrance free, pH balanced, and dermatologists and pediatrician approved, are recommended. So um, I was actually looking for the smallest size because, you know, as I mentioned, we're just trying it out. But I said, um, let's just buy the bigger one because uh, the smaller sizes are not available. So I'm going to na it. I'm going to put it in my so I uh, I'll try to use it up until um, uh, to use it on my back as well because I have really bad um, bumps on my back. It's not really bad. It's just you can't really see it. But you can feel it. Like if you do that, you can really feel their texture in my back. So I've used this and compared to what I have been using, I've actually been using Dove on my face. Dove people bar and. Dove Beauty Bar does not really dry the skin up, but it's not also moisturizing your skin. It just leaves your skin kind of kind of slippery. It's just slippery, and it's really hard to rinse off because it's really meant to be like that. Um, it should be like a little slippery. Whereas if uh, after using Cetaphil. Um, surprisingly, it doesn't bubble up. I was expecting it to bubble up. It doesn't bubble up. It, it doesn't smell as what has, has been mentioned in the label. It's really fragrance-free. It, ha it has a really slight powdery smell to it, more of like a baby smell. But overall, it's better than Dove, I should say. 
first and foremost, it's more expensive. So I was expecting it to be better than dub. They said, said no, and dub kay si Quintana kani kay to 29 or upat ka dub. Upat ka dub ako bakalit ani sa kapa. Namina na ba? So I was expecting it to really work, or to really have karang namatay ako ng storage. No? So I was actually expecting it to do a better job than uh, dub, and it really does. It feels more supple on my skin rather than just being slippery so you can actually feel that your skin is hydrated and cleansed as well and we're gonna move on to the next step which is clay mask um, although it's not really a necessary step it was just mentioned um, it was suggested to people who has clogged pores so you have if you have pore problem sebum problem excessive oil production problem clay mask can actually suggested to be used at least twice or three times a week on your face after cleansing. So what I actually bought is a, the Beauty Dose Anti-Stress Dead Sea Mineral Clay Mask. It retails for 129 and it's 175 ml, so it's six fluid ounces. It's really big, and you know, if you can imagine, it's my palm. It's really big, so it's really worth the price. We'll see though if it actually it does what it explains here that it clears pores, balances oil production, and with continued use, help your skin glow. So I am planning to use this at least uh, twice a week because uh, they said clay mask can be harsh to your skin and it, could, it uh, may dry your skin up. So I'm just planning to use that at least twice a week or twice a week rather. So um, yeah, as I would mention, those are only suggested if you have um, really oily skin, if you have clogged pores. So that is a suggestion. But if you have you know, normal to dry skin, I really don't suggest you use a clay mask. You're perfectly fine with a cleanser and then just move on to the next step. So our next step is a toner. So I, of course, as I might mention, I have pore problems. I have huge, gigantic pores. So I'm going to leave the phone now, Mians. I'm going to leave the phone. I'm going to leave the phone. I'm going to leave the phone. Okay, I'm going to leave the phone. Okay, I'm going to leave the phone. I'm going to leave the phone. I'm supportive if you're going to leave the phone. Oh, yeah! Char! I'm going to leave the phone. I'm going to leave the phone. I'm going to leave the phone. Anyway, so Nalobat yung camera. Ay, Tagalog! Anyway, <laughs> so nalobat na itong camera. So mag, mag pigit na sa front cam sa Huawei 7i. I don't know. Ikaw video. To be continued. So what I was talking about clay mask, right? I think you're talking about clay mask. So padayo tayo ito na nag-edit. Edit niya. Ito yung makabot na edit. So I was actually talking about toner already. Sure. Anyway, so the... Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, after cleansing, you know, if you don't do clay mask, you should move on to the next step, is the toner. So, yeah, the toner. So the toner is um, it's supposed to like balance your skin to receive all of the nutrients and nutrients. That you will be getting from all of the other products that you will be layer, layering out 
on your skin. So some use serum, some use plain moisturizer, things like that. So of course, as I mentioned, since I have four problems, which daily not visible ka wala ng ay, anyway. So since I, as I mentioned earlier, I do have uh, problems with my pores. It's really enlarged. Kana nagkuyut siya, which I get turn off kaya siya. Kaya mag mohay na siya niyong wala yung pakay ka mohay. Mohay mo kong pores. Kaya nga na siya. So, I actually have very large pores due to genetics. I'm a very hairy person. So my hair follicles are just huge. You know, my hair is transfer thick. Thus, my hair follicles are also thick. I also have facial hair. Like, very fine facial hair around this area. Yung balbunun na kayo. I have facials uh, here, here, and here, which also contributes to my enlarged pores. So, what I actually use, or what I chose rather, is this. Although, na pa yung mas barato dito, which is yung ilang alcohol free um, cleanser, the blue. But I decided to buy this. It's 30 pesos more. It's, it retails for 189. It's the Nivea Extra White for minimizing odor. Pearl extra. It promises to clear impurities and other makeup residue for clean, bright, and smooth skin. Char. We know toner is for hydrating purposes. Not for cleaning purposes. So anyway, um, I was able to use the foam cleanser version of this way back in college because of my one or my goal to uh, to uh, lessen down the enlargement of my pores but to no avail it only dries up my skin so I stopped using it and I actually use this after the clay mask there are days that I won't be using the clay mask so I would do straight up toner after cleansing my face with setting so I just apply it on a cotton ball or a cotton pad and then um, gently uh, rub it in my no not rub, gently stroke my face upwards a bit to apply the toner and let it dry up. And when it's dry, that's when we go to hydration. And hydration means moisturizer. So moisturizer, I as I mentioned earlier, numerous times, gamihata, balik balik. I have been using Selenec Facial Hydrating Gel, which is the blue, um, blue, the blue, the white tube highlighted with blue, the most basic, um, the most basic in the, in the hydrating line of Selenec. Just <laughs> basically, it's a blue hydrating water na kalaka and green kaya para masabi mo kung um pink nila kaya para sa one. So the only that the only product that I use from them is that thing. Um, and as they may, I'm not really sure about what ingredients they have in Salatec, although I have been using it for a while and um, it's, it doesn't irritate my skin so I'm perfectly fine with it. Although it doesn't, it also, it, it's, not, it's not as supple as when I use Himalaya um, Herbal Nourishing Skin Cream. I, have, I was using this way back in college but when I became a mom, everything over 150 is expensive. Believe me, I want to do it more than 150. I'm really proud of my mom. I'm a mahal dude na dash. I'm a mahal dude na. I'm a sabot ras. I'm a sabot ras. I'm a handy ha. Really tehik sa ilang anak pero pagkatehik sa ilang pagling. I'm a mahal dude na. I'm a mahal dude na feeling dash. Feel dude tama ka na. <laughs> so going back, so for me, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very frugal, and everything over 150 when it comes to skincare, for me that's really expensive. Mahal na over the budget na kaya. So I bought this simply because I wanted to combine it with um, uh, the Cetaphil cleanser to just basically make sure that my face is supple and well hydrated. I am now using clay mask and I am now using toner. Although toner should have hydrating properties, so I don't want to leave my skin on a compromise by using 
um, a moisturizer that is not as thick or as creamy as what I should be using. So gel moisturizers are okay or water-based moisturizers are okay rather if you're using it on, on, um, on daytime. If you are not applying any makeup, it's perfectly fine to go ahead and use a cream moisturizer because technically you're not putting anything about it so that's perfectly fine. Okay, that's just okay. Hindi makakaworry ng buwan mo. Hindi mo tapot yung makeup kaya na kay cream hindi ang moisturizer na magkakayo po sa suya. Lightweight moisturizer. And for once, no, Cetaphic is not really lightweight. You can really feel it on your skin. The fact that it's gel, moisturizer, it just makes it like, it has a cooling sensation on your skin because it's like a gel type moisturizer. So Himalaya um, Herbals is, I think, it's really, um, it's, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a Korean skincare product. Yeah, but I, I was, um, I wasn't Watson's before. And I have this, um, I, I saw this line full of uh, Koreans, full of opas. Yeah, opas. Full of opas. <laughs> and there were, they were all buying Himalayas, like boxes of it. Like I was wondering what are they going to do with it? And like, I had the impression that maybe Himalayas is a Korean product. Just maybe. And it says it's herbal, so it's... Um, it's supposed to be natural, uh, de derived from natural ingredients. I, I'm, I really did look up the ingredients because I'm not familiar with them. I will try to research more on these ingredients and see if some of these ingredients are harmful or what. But so far, you know, Himalayas, it's perfectly fine. I've tried using it in the past, no breakouts and everything. The only thing that I complain about it is it's really thick. So way back in college, I try, I actually apply a foundation on my face because I really, I have a lot of breakouts, I have a lot of ripples, so I then not apply foundation on it. Because I'm really good on my face, okay? You know, college we are mahalin tano, mahalin na, mahalin tana, mahalin jun. So maon ato siya. So that was basically it. So um, it was just a nighttime routine, a uh, routine. Nighttime lato siyang routine that, that I actually tried to uh, share with you guys. Karang sa inyo makita na selfie na lang yun ko no timer. Masig kataga ka cellphone sa puto na dayon ko. Alam ko ganah yung ano ko lami ano storya. Karang masig kataga ka cellphone, masig pulot, masig pu set up. Yan apa yun na storya sa kung luyo ka ng kapuy kida, kapuy yung kimo vlog. Ay di na yun ko mo vlog walik kapuy yun ka ayog. Char lah betul. Buat ke video so not after thirty days. Ani singin nambah subscribe sah mui. Kena itu sakit upat rasa subscribe berkamu rasa tanah tanah asal kamu vlog lain sah kau yun. Murah kamu bangga dengan sih historia ni nyu. Abi apa ke historia? Murah bok naik ke historia. Lepas bek ke historia yang kulai ke historia. Kan pas pas macam sulit. Bas tak ui. Matug nak kau pakai tug. Bye guys. Arti kikasa. Bye.